Bancroft has put Andy Bevan on the Kamara app. When will I go proactive? I'm always sat at my desk. You know what Stalin said about how he got to the top of the Communist Party? I mean, obviously, he was a paranoid, murdering tyrant, but it's good advice. He said, I took the minutes. Never underestimate the power of the desk job, Catherine. As it happens, I've got something for you, cold cases. Commissioner wants us to boost our clear-up rates. You solve a few of them, you'll fly past Andy Bevan at the next review. Then you're to be getting on with. Thanks, Gov. And Catherine? Yeah? Calm down. You see injustice where there isn't any.
be here by now. Brother Danish. So where's the chief then? Go for the not wrong about. <sighs> Go. Strike, strike, strike. Thieves. Where is he? He'd be set up by your own brother. Got the weapon! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Now! Dear Stevens. Yes? I'm Annie Kareem, forensics. Super's got me on the cold cases. Oh. Is this one of them? Yeah. How long has she been dead? 27 years. Good. Killers didn't think about what they left behind back then. Yeah, great. Take it away. How are you doing? What if you hadn't come? Nice full of this. You're all right, that's the main thing. I'm gonna do one thing. Watch the exit. Well, I'm sorry. Just leave it. Does it hurt? What do you think? I did you a favour. You'd have killed her, you'd be finished. Why isn't a teeth here? Ask him. Yeah, I might just do that. <laughs> hey, you had a clear shot. I wouldn't have asked you to take it unless I'd known that. Do you understand? Thanks, so. That's what happened. It's the police have to get There's no forensic odontologist report. With a bite? Yeah, there should be. And there's no DNA report. Did they test for DNA back then? They'd have taken a saliva swab, but it wouldn't have been DNA rich enough to get a marker in those days. So, I... so when the science improved, it should have been reviewed. This file is a mess. Let's start with another one. No, no, no. We're going to stick with this one. Laura Fraser was young and she was pretty, and she was murdered in her own home by an intruder. And that's a story. But see someone after. Excuse me. Well, how'd it go? Did you get him? No, but we got the brother. That's good. Excuse me. You've been better to be in here. I work in the building. I haven't seen you around. Uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. For God's sake, Andy. 
As if Kamara's got eyes everywhere. You can't be too careful. She's a forensic scientist. Doesn't look like one. All right. It's enough. It's at least this door. What's up with it? And it blew the hole up. Sorry, Gov, I didn't realize you're in here. Sorry. Sorry, I'm okay. Sit down. <laughs> Mom, Stupid. sit down. Let's just breathe. Just take deep breaths. Stupid. <laughs> okay. Let me clean you up. You're actually in the presence of the CID first aid rep. Mm. Although I have to warn you, you are my first patient. <laughs> Sounds like today was exciting. Yeah, to run a minute. Sorry, you were? Uh... Uh, Stevens, I'm Catherine Stevens. Yeah, of course, sorry. I came in at the same level as Andy Bevan. <laughs> right. And you're wondering why he's on this up and you're not. Yes, Gov, I am. If Bevan messes up, he can fade into a crowd. But you, you stick out. Female CID, your pretty face. Perfect target practice. You have to be better than them every time. When you know you are, that's when you stick your head above the parapet. I'll see you waving, I promise. Thank you. Anyway, you can't be at that much of a loose end if you stood here at 10 o'clock at night. Well, Superintendent Walker has put me on cold cases. Cold cases? Well, I didn't know about that. It's about clear up rates, you know, Walker and his stats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Um, listen, my son Joe is is waiting for me out in reception. I just need five minutes. Can you go and talk to him? Tell him I'll be out in a minute. Yeah. Romeo, go from 156. I need assistance for no reasons. She's on her way down. Um, is she? Don't worry, she's just got a few cuts and bruises. Did a chief send his baby brother? Well, maybe it was always going to be him and your informant's playing us. I don't think so. My informant's sound. I mean, the Times 
I've been sat at home stressing, and then she gets in at like two in the morning, and <sighs> you know, I know, like I know that she's good at her job, but sometimes I wish she didn't do it. Well, you never considered it. Do I look like a police officer? No, you don't. <laughs> Thank God. Well, that was heartfelt. Oh, no, it's just nice to talk to someone who doesn't work here. We're so in each other's pockets. Yeah, tell me about it. So my dad, he was a police officer, and when him and mum split, he had to move to a different force. You know, the gossip. Right. I'm sure that can happen. So if, um, if men in uniform aren't your type, what is? Good question. <laughs> I have to get back to you on that one. Yeah. Go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just go on. Good night, Stevie. Good night, Mom. I still don't understand why you had to get in the middle of it. I thought the whole point of being a senior was so that you didn't end up in the line of fire. Mom? Mom? You need to sleep. Let's go to bed. My fault. It should have been two of us inside that pub. But Gov won't listen. She throws me out, she does that. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you, but it's late and I'm tired. Ginny doesn't understand. She listens for two minutes and then something with the kids and she's gone. This isn't me. Okay. You're a colleague and you're married. And it's shit the whole thing. Just go with how you feel. No. Catherine. Let me in. Catherine. The kitchen window was smashed. The handbag was rifled through and jewellery was stolen. Murder weapon? Knife, not found at the scene. She was stabbed 18 times. She had punctured lungs, kidney, stomach. Her baby didn't stand a chance. She was pregnant? Four months. We need to find out who did this to them. So not, will you? operation uh, we have known about for a period of time to ensure the safety of our officers and our community we have apprehended several of the gang members they are now 
in custody. <clears throat> Sorry about last night. I was just. Oh, you know, it's all right. Everyone knows you were after a teeth Kamar and you didn't get him. No wonder you were pissed off. I didn't catch your name. I'm Dr. Anya Karee. What are you talk to? Just tidying up a few cases for the super, nothing important. Well, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. Thought you said this was the case that was going to make us household names. I did. There's no point telling him that. Have a seat. Thank you. And thank you for supporting me out there, sir. You are very good. I should put you out in front of the cameras more often. Especially if you're going to apply to be my successor. You're retiring. 30 years of service, I'm done. Well, you'll be missed, sir. It's a different force to the one I joined. All these regulations. Chaps like Kamara thinking they can run rings round us. Need someone like you to cut through the crap. Elizabeth, you're quite something. That girl could have died. Or you could have. There was an element of risk, but I had it under control. Wind this up before I leave. Get me Artif Kamara and don't hang about. Yes, sir. Nice looking kid. I presume that was him and your wife. You're not going to be seeing them for a while, are you? Uh, nothing to say to you. Carrying a firearm, possession with intent to supply. You're looking at what? 12 years? I'll do five and I'm out. You don't have to do any. I can get you a suspended sentence. Psst. Most you can do is put a word in with the judge. Mm -hmm. Judges listen to me. Oh, come on. Got to be asking yourself, did a teeth know? He puts you on this job and we're just sat there waiting. What, you pissed him off, is that it? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe he just doesn't like you. I mean, you're the smart one, aren't you? You're the one with the brain. I don't know what you're on about. OK, all right. You tell me this. Was it you who decided to carry a firearm or did Atif tell you to? Come on. I admire... Your loyalty, Danish, I really do. But it's misplaced. This girl <clears throat> lives next door to your brother. She was raped two weeks ago. Our chief and two of his mates. She's too scared to bring charges. This lad, our chief assaulted him to get the weeks taken from his dad's shop. You won't talk either. Our chief. No good to anyone, really, is he? But you. You could run high water under the radar without any of this psychotic shit. We wouldn't bother you and you wouldn't bother us. It's your brother I want. Help me get him. Yeah, well, just keep your head down. Yeah, if you're worried about anything, get out. Do you understand? Great, give us a call any time. That your informant? I'm not going to tell you who it is, Andy, so wind your neck in. Did Danish talk to you? We need to keep the pressure up and drive our teeth out of his hole. Yes, Stevens. I rang your wife and left a message on your mobile. Oh, yes. The cold case. Sounds interesting. Sit down. Thank you. 
I don't want to keep you from your game. Oh, you're not keeping me. Sorry, I, I didn't realize. Um... Spine's buggered. Arthritis, but I've had a good run. 35 years on the force, loved every minute. Your case, was I on it? Yeah, you were, sir. Call me Charlie. When did it happen? 1990? Laura Fraser? Do you remember her? Yes, I do. Sorry about the art. If you'd have stopped that girl in the pub, there'd be no shooting done. He should be in the nick, and I wouldn't be getting anywhere near him. I thought it all through. Don't push it. <laughs> now, talk me through DS Stevens. She's on fast track, isn't she? You're not thinking of putting her on this side? Well, I might be. Why? What are her strengths? Is she any good? She's clever. Goes the extra mile. Well, I can tell this a bot. She's not experienced. Supervisor doing admin. Cold cases. Have you got any forensics back up? Yeah. Doctor Anya Karim. What case are they investigating? Late eighties, early nineties, by the looks of the photos. A young woman. Is it hard to forget the unsolved ones? Not many of those on my records, fortunately. Crackhead did for her. It was hard to catch those bastards. They were often one-off offenders. I didn't realize it was a drug-related assault. Well, I couldn't prove anything, but people lost their minds to the stuff. Violent burglary went through the roof. But that violent? She was stabbed 18 times and she was bitten. Did you ever consider any other line of inquiry? Burglary stood up. Sometimes things just are as simple as they seem. You'll learn that. Did you have anyone in the frame for the burglary? If I had, I would have arrested them. You've been talking to Len Dorman. Laura's father? No, I haven't. Why? The man complained about us all the bloody time. It's a pain in the ass. Well, his daughter had just been murdered. Does your governor know you're doing this? Yes. The whole initiative is Superintendent Walker's. Not him. The man's a wooden top. This case is what it says it is. Leave it alone. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you bring your wallet this time. We're going down to the pub. Want to come down? No, thanks. We've got to get on with this. You're overworking yourself. Should have a bit of fun. Why are you in such a good mood? I'm back in Bancroft's good books. <laughs> Andy, if a murder victim was bitten, what would that suggest to you? Motive sexual, isn't it? Yeah, you would think so, but my victim wasn't sexually assaulted. Uh, I don't know, then. Anger is a motivation, apparently. But listen to this. The cannibalistic biter bites to satisfy ego, consuming the antagonist's life essence. <sighs> Bloody hell. Don't you get any ideas? What are you playing at? What? Catherine Stevens. We just having a bit of fun. She's on her own up here. No family, no friends. Don't screw it about. Hello, Mr. Dorman. Uh, my name is DS Catherine Stevens. Um, I want to talk to you about your daughter, Laura's case, which we're reviewing. Stevens! You're not working late again, are you? Have you eaten? No, I haven't. Get in the car. You're coming to supper at night. Come on. Morning. Sorry, Ella. Ah, 
Joe, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Catherine, Joe. Oh, no, of course. You've already met, haven't you? your age as a woman in the force you have such a serious constitution no not too much i'm on the early shift tomorrow Come on you're too nice that's your problem they always put him first and last on the road to another complaint i don't mind working late it seems to bother you more than me what do you do joe i'm a physio up at the hospital but mum thinks i should go private oh well everybody else got and then they get you to cover for them that's what i mean you're too nice can I help? Don't even ask. My mother likes to be in control of the kitchen. So what about you, Catherine? Are you skivvying for Superintendent Walker because you want to or because you've been having to? What I'm doing isn't exactly skivvying. <laughs> You'll put in all the hard work. You'll take all the glory out and tell you that. Come across anything interesting? I've only just started on my first one. Mm. What is it? Do we have to talk shop? It happened years ago. In 1990. Thing is, there's something odd about it. Odd? <gasps> yeah, it just, it doesn't feel right. Why not? Well, it was a burglary and it was vicious. Burglars can kill. If they get disturbed or if something goes wrong. She was bitten. That's what I don't get. There was no sexual assault but she was bitten. Why would anyone do that? So we've got a footprint under the window. The bastards have chucked in a petrol bomb. Are you all right, Gov? Gov. Heard about last night. Must have been the Camaras. Bastards think they can get away with anything. I hate that. How are we doing with the Laura Fraser forensics? Hardly. Everything examined should have been put in the exhibit storage facility. I've run through and there's nothing under Fraser 1990. Who's the copper running this? D.I. Haverstock. I met him yesterday. He reckons it was a drug-related burglary. Makes sense. Yeah, but he was really defensive about it and then he tried to get me to drop the case. <laughs> OK, it's not worth ruffling feathers. Maybe we should move on, start another one. No. Laura Fraser died. I'm going to have a good go at solving this one, and if you don't want to help me, I'll find someone who can. George, get forensics out to this car and send the jacket off to the lab, will you? Cool. Bloody hell, Elizabeth. Morning, Cliff. Sorry to bring you down here, but as I'm living in the middle of a crime scene, I thought I might as well run it. 
Look, just give me a minute, will you? Coffee's on the side. Andy, sort Superintendent Walker out, will you? Hello? Liz, it's me. There's some jumped-up detective snooping around the Fraser case. Now is not a good time. Come and see me. You'd better. Everything all right? Come and have a look at this. Right. They followed me from the hospital to the police station and then back to here. We found the car. It's burnt out, registered as stolen. They're taking it to the lab for examination. Mm. Well, if there's anything I can do... I'd, uh, I'd like to bring Catherine Stevens onto this team. Stevens is working on something for me. Andy, can you go back down to the station, go through all the CCTV again, and see if we can ID any faces in that car? OK, good. Thank you. Look, Cliff, do me a favour. I really need a woman on this team. The lads are really stirred up. It would really help to have Catherine Stevens in the mix. I'm sorry, I, I would if I could, but as I said, she's busy. <laughs> Working on cold cases? Yes, as it happens. The Chief is always on us to keep things tight. Cold cases is just money down the drain, and you know that. Well, I talked to him about it yesterday. He seemed to think it was a good idea. You spoke to Alan yesterday. I presume he's asked you to apply to be Detective Chief Super 2. Likes to keep his options open, doesn't he? Good luck with the clear-up. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm the police. I've been trying to contact you, Mr. Darman. You don't answer your phone. What do you want? We're reinvestigating your daughter's case. <laughs> I don't hear from you a lot for years. And now you appear. How long have you been in CID? A week? Ten months. Well, then, we're off to the races. It must have been awful for you that that case didn't get solved. I don't know how I would live with that. I am so sorry. 27 years. Nobody. Not one of you has ever said sorry. It's just me here now. The wife died last autumn. The rest of the place is closed off. I don't need the rooms. Just this one. Miss Laura. She's our only child. Maybe that made it worse. I don't know. Please. Thank you. Can I? Yeah. I was never sure if it was a break-in. I brought Laura up to be smart. If she'd have walked in that house and seen that window broken, she'd have got the hell out. And if it was a burglar, why would he kill her? Bite her 
I mean, why would anyone do that to us? Did you tell D.I. Havistock what you thought? <laughs> he chose not to hear. What do you mean? He was all right at first. He could have been more helpful. Then he found out I was a minor. He changed. I was the enemy. Are you saying he didn't investigate the case properly? He stopped caring. They all did. Apart from one. A policewoman. She tried. What was her name? She was on the news. She was some drug thing in town a couple of days back. Bancroft? Yes. Bancroft. <laughs> Thought you were Julie. He's on at me about these. Oh. Oh. How are you doing, Charlie? I'm proud of my record, Elizabeth, but that case, the Fraser case, I shut it down too soon. You didn't say that to Stevens, did you, when she came talking to you? Of course not. What did you say? I told her it was a burglary went wrong. Which is what it was, so just leave it at that. Uh, bloody Len Dorman, expecting us to work round the clock, bitching us up at the same time. No, oh, well, he was troubled, wasn't he? His girl wasn't much better. Uh, you said she was a piece of work, and you knew it. Oh, you did everything you could. When you told me they were mining trash, Clouded my judgment. Well, that's what they were. You still did a thorough investigation. We we both did. 18 stab wounds, bitten. The DS is right. Why would a burglar do that? You look, there's no point in raking over this. Please, just, just leave it and I'll get it closed down. Trust me. My back isn't arthritic. It's spine cancer. I'm so sorry. When you know your days are numbered, you start to think about the things you did wrong. I didn't give Laura Fraser a fair shot. I'm going to help D.S. Stevens put the work in now I never did back then. Miner's daughter or not, someone killed that girl. I'm going to find out who.
Oh, now, did she or didn't she? We'll have to wait until tomorrow to find out as new Bancroft continues at nine on ITV and more compulsive viewing over on ITV3 right now based on the crimes of a convicted murderer, Reese Shearsmith stars in the first of three-part drama, The Widower. Thank you.